So my name is Rich Feldman, and I'm, I'm here for two reasons, representing two parts of my life. One is I work at the International UAW, and Cindy Estrada wanted to make sure that we were here to be supportive of Jerome in this struggle. The other, the, the other is that uh, I'm a father of a 28-year-old uh, son, Micah, who has a cognitive impairment, who is was part of CLS in Oakland County, so I have some experience. Um, and for all the folks that are here, uh, and who have any experience with any of the institutions, this is just one of many, so it'll be a whole unraveling of an onion as the shit gets uglier and uglier, uh, and there won't be a lot of surprises uh, to how barbaric and um, inhuman most of the institutions are that provide services. Um, whether there are some good people there or not is another question. Um, I guess I just wanted to say that um, as, as a supportive and activist around disability justice and inclusion and disability pride, um, there's a lot of folks around the country that need to hear about this. And I want to be part of figuring out how we get those national disability organizations aware of it. Uh, whether it's in D.C. or Atlanta or CILs or all the other folks that we know we have a lot of relationships with. And also even Matrix Theater. Folks don't know this, but Matrix Theater did a puppet of Justin Dark. Yes. And if you want to get some publicity, you bring in a giant puppet of Justin Dark standing next to Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez, and you begin to create an inclusive movement that you're talking about, uh, and that we're all talking about. Um, so I think there's... I'm just really honored to be here and, and uh, want to extend the support and solidarity to Jerome and everyone. Thank you. Thanks.